Hi, this is Ron McTube. We're playing The Hunter, and this is part two of the Euro Rabbit tutorial. I'm on Valdebez, and we're Brian Mole, and we're just going to the next hotspot, which is behind the main lodge in the middle. It's quite simple. The key hotspot is just behind the lodge, and you just you can either walk straight up and circle the area or you can go in like a zigzag motion and just check the area doesn't really matter all you need to do is just check for tracks as you run up the hill me and uh, Blind Mole are going up the hill now often there's a little road just up here and there's a bit of grass and you often see the tracks straight away We did check down to the right a minute ago and there was nothing there. So we've come back to the spawn again and we're just going straight up into this circled area on the PDA map. We are moving quite quickly, but as I discussed in part one, you don't need to crouch walk for the rabbits. They'll just jump down the holes and like I say, the holes aren't going to go anywhere so the rabbits will be in that location anyway, even if you spook them. It's just quick, cover ground and just find where they're located. This area we're coming up to now looks very nice. In these them? No. Looks like a road air track. I'm just looking for one or more tracks for the rabbits. Here's one now. So we're in the right area. Just got on the edge of the circle. And that's just a case of finding some more. There we go, there's another track. So, must be close now. Just a case of finding the burrows, which should be here. Here we go. There's three, four burrows. We'll get a nice rock to perch on. Remember, always try and find somewhere to take advantage so you can look, see as much as the area as possible. It's just a case of waiting for one to pop out. Some people uh, liken this to like the whack-a-mole game. So I'm playing whack-a-mole with blind mole. There's one. Down we go. Some people have tried using tree stands and um, tripods as well in these areas. If that works for you, that's fine. Uh, I generally just use the rocks or a bit higher ground. You do tend to find the rabbit holes in those kind of areas anyway. There's another one. Oh, missed it. Again. Oh, I, yeah, it's dead. Sometimes the rabbit's quite slippery. They might only just pop up for a split second and go back down. There's another one. Seems like a good area. Not been here long and 
quite a few down already. I think I might have a go at uh, bow hunting some in the next week or so. That should be a good challenge. I'm not sure if anyone is actually bow hunting them yet, but it should be good fun. Remember to have your sound up so you can hear the rabbits before they come out of the holes sometimes. There's one. Yeah, we got him. Another one down. As for those who want to play multiplayer with me, I often do open lobbies. There's no skill or score limitations. So if you see I'm in the game, just join. Over the next week or so, I'll be doing quite a lot of uh, open room hunting, so feel free to join in. I think we'll go and collect these rabbits in a minute because we've got four or five dead. If we don't get any more. He's highlighted the area. It's only a couple of minutes run behind the lodge as well so if you're struggling to get any it's a nice easy place to get some rabbits. There's been a bit of discussion on the forums about having them on Hirschfeld and I personally would like them on there as long as it doesn't affect how Hirschfelden is now because I think that's a really good balance but the actual habitat is very close to what it's like in the UK and the rabbits really would uh, fit in nicely there. Yeah, there's one on my right somewhere. Blind Mole shot it. I think we'll go and uh, collect the rabbits now. Take some screenshots of Blind Mole in them. Here's the first one. A little tip for people who don't know this. When you're taking a trophy shot, to get the best uh, image, you want to turn your person all the way around until you find the sunlight, because it only seems to shine from one certain way. So it does make quite a difference when taking trophy shots. And if it's that one special animal or trophy you get, you might not ever get one that big again. You might as well make sure you get the uh, best shot you can. Here's the next rabbit. I'm not going to trophy shot everyone. Let's just take a few. Here's number three. Number four. Number five, number six. So as you can see, it isn't too much hard work if you move around quickly and just focus on the main areas for the Euro rabbits. You can have a lot of fun and 
sport in a short period of time if you just focus on the key areas and cover as much ground as possible shown in these videos. Cheers to Stigger and Blind Mole for helping out make this video. I hope it helps a lot of you out who did struggle or are struggling to find um, the Euro Rabbits. So it's been me, Ron McTube, Stigger and Blind Mole. We're playing the Hunter on PC. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.